Hey guys, welcome back to some more Snooker 19 and another matchup to predict the Crucible first round. I'm Joe, if you're new around here, make sure you do click that subscribe button for daily Snooker 19 videos. Today we are doing the Pocket Dynamo versus the Ball Run. Graham Dot, the 2006 World Champion versus Stuart Bingham, the 2015 World Champion. For me, the pick of the first round matches, I think this is going to be a cracking match. Uh, both sessions are today actually. Uh, which is, is going to be interesting. And uh, Bigham's been in pretty good form recently, reaching the final of the Welsh Open. He won the English Open earlier in the season as well. Graham Dot, you know, always a consistent player, consistently in the top 25 or so in the world, and uh, still got all the goods, did very well in qualifying. And it'll be interesting to see how we get on today. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, the first frame. Stuart Bingham to break. Here we go then, Stu Bingham to get us underway in this one frame shootout at the Crucible. If you haven't seen any of our other matchups, make sure that you check out the uh, playlist in the top right corner. And of course, uh, if you also like the content, then check out the career mode as well. Uh, the black isn't available here, so it's not really worth taking this red on. But uh, we know that Stuart's going to take it if he gets the chance. Hmm. Yeah, maybe just play half ball. A little bit of check side. And uh, back to bulk. That's possibly the order of the day. He'll want to get this cue ball close to the cushion. Yeah, just a little bit of check side to avoid the double kiss, but we've hit it a bit pacey, to be honest with you. And uh, I wish I did take well, that on now. It's not worked out quite as he intended it to. So, this pot into the right corner. Good opening red from Stewart. He's just One. over screwed it. Well, I'm not surprised he's taking on the long pot here. That's a good pot, though. I think that might be end of break. That's loose. He wanted more control there. Six. <laughs> a very strange uh, shot choice there, but he gets a cue ball where he wants it, and yeah, that's all that matters, really. The cue ball is finished up in a very safe position. So Stuart Bingham. Something. Try and keep it nice and tight. It's a decent length of the cue ball, but. That red's come out to the right of the pink, so I think Stuart will take no this on. Half a chance here. Nope, not quite. But he's got away with it. As we fancy the plant, just very tricky, but definitely gettable. No. Just got to aim that red towards the, the right corner. This is, you know, half a chance. I think we can actually get the cue to the cue ball here, so this could could well go in. I'm just double checking the the angle here. <coughs> the success of this shot is reliant on perfect pace. Mm, not quite. Mm. Well. It's a poor one. No, I don't know whether the black passes the, the, re the red. He's looking to pop this, this into goes. the left corner well. pocket. Down it goes. Great. There's quite a few available reds one. here, and Stu Bingham is good on this game. Three. He really is, so we might not get another shot here. What a fabulous pop that is! Well, he couldn't have played that any better. Superb positional shot. Four. Six. He keeps leaving himself long ones, Top so he's good keep knocking them in. So close, mm, but he's missed it. Doesn't knock that one in. That'll annoy him. It was a strange shot to take on, really. Six. This word goes into the yellow pocket. So. Well, he's taking it on to the left corner. No problem there. 
Let's see how Graham Dot does here. Good old Graham Dot! One. <laughs> nah, I do, I do like a bit of Graham Dot. He's a, he's a gritty player. Um, you know, always, always battling. Always does well at the Crucible as well. Um, never one to to underestimate. And I'll see a three-time world Five. world final um, world finalist it was five 0 up against Roddy in the two thousand and four world championship final, but uh, lost it eighteen eight in the end. So that just shows you how well Roddy was playing that year. And. Uh, you know, in 2010, Six. losing to Neil Robertson in the final. I mean, that, that tournament was just meant for Neil Robertson, wasn't it? You know, he checked out of his hotel. He was ready to leave 12-5 down to Martin Gould in the uh, second round. Came back to win that 13-5. Well Unbelievable. And then uh, Ten. had uh, Steve Davis in the quarterfinals of that year as well. Neil Robertson and uh, <coughs> stopped the fairy tale happening the year that, that uh, Davis beat That'll John be Higgins oh bad dear miss. that's a bad miss that's because I'm rambling on <laughs> um, Steve Turned Davis beat John Higgins that year of course but that was uh, also easier. the time that the next day we got the news of the world uh Report that John Higgins well, had perhaps been match fixing and uh, you know the, uh, sort of marred Steve Davis's victory over him. Nicely. Three. And that's unbelievable what he's done this in those last easy. two shots. Fabulous effort. That's a great that's crazy. Just look at that for a positional shot. Superb. Well, I half expect uh, Stuart to win this now. Just flicks that black, and I bet he's flicked it into a potable position as well. Here. Well, brown. I'm not sure we'll be too happy with that. Don't think he can pot any Fourteen. now, thank goodness. Don't think he can get to enough of the one below the pink, so unless he plays a plan, which he's not, he's just playing the safety and that's not a good one we have got a chance not here what he intended at all that's a poor shot Stuart Bingham 14 no nope. oh well just what? accepted it there uh, the pocket Ooh, I thought maybe the pink would go for a second there I was getting my hopes up I think the yellow is possibly the, the best shot. He's here. taking on the yellow. It's a nice pot. I won't be on. And we're definitely on a cut to the left corner. Three. Other than that, not much. This is not an easy one at all. This is no gimme. It's there though. Great shot. Nice little flick on the red, perfect on the blue. This is half a chance. Be nice to win this one. I can't see any problems here. I feel like we are the underdog in this match with Graham Dot, but uh, I think wrongfully so. I think, you know, Graham Dot is just as good a player as Stu Bingham on his day, so you know. I think it I think it really is gonna be a cracking match. Ten. The seagulls are out in force today for in support of Graham Dot. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you obviously didn't hear the, the seagulls in the background there. I do realise the mic might not have picked them up, but it picks up everything else, so why wouldn't it? <laughs> 15. So. Need this to bounce, and oh, for once we haven't got the right 15. side of the blue. Oh, level peg in here, we're going to... Just drop this blue in, play the red down the cushion. 
could do with a bounce. Yeah, that's 21. fine. That's fine. He's aiming to sink this into the right corner. Excellent yeah. shot. Needed an angle, but not this much and angle. A bit of a roll at the moment. Uh, Twenty-two. Play the yellow. A little bit of left hand side. You feel guaranteed to hit something here. Oh, how did we find that gap? Well, that's crazy. I was hoping to at least hit the red next to the black there, and well, we went through the smallest of gaps. But a uh, good safety shot here, and uh, all will be forgiven. That's not too bad. It's actually very, very good. Look at that. Absolutely tight on the ball cushion. Excellent safety shot. Graham Dot, 24. Bingham goes for the safety. No, not the best. So once again, we'll hit this as thin as we can. Just go try and avoid that black. Oh, we, we've hit that thinner than we even intended. It's okay. You know, no harm done. But, uh... Not easy. He literally just rest. hit that. Oh, and he's played the pot. Well, where's the cue ball going? Where's the cue ball going? In the pocket. Foul. Oh, and this well. could really cost him. Foul. Graham Dot. Four. Make Nothing on, from so there, he's asked his opponent to play from here. And he's tempted by this red. And he's missed that. He was playing the pot there, Dave. <laughs> He's played a good one, though. He's played a really good safety. So we're going to have to come up with the goods here. He'll have to be very careful with the pace here. Yeah, we're playing towards the black in the hope that it would sort of stop the red from being available, but. Unfortunately, Stewart's got a shot here. Nope. He's missed it. Well, we've got a chance now. He screwed away from the cushion nicely. So, one. We not in this pink. No, nope, not quite. Green it is. On and off this right hand to cushion. This into the right corner. Tremendous there it shot. is, that's a beautiful shot. Wonderful pot. Outstanding. So the frame's there for the taking now. Four. He's aiming for the left corner here. That's an excellent pot. Oh, wonderful shot. Five. Chance You're playing now. With plenty of power. You played that nicely. Look at that. Perfectly on the yellow. That is what we well, are talking about. Beautiful shot there. Just a little bit of left hand side just to help just it along. Just the yellow ball required. No problem, the yellow required. And there we go. Past the point of no return in this match. 14. Mm -hmm. 17. Be nice to clear them up here, but uh, to drop into the centre you know, Half a decent performance in this uh, frame. We, you know, we had some uh, good tactical uh, battles with Stewart. 21. You know, he missed a couple of long pots. We missed a couple of pots. Um, but overall, it's been a good little frame, and I think you know this is the type of match this will be. I don't think it'll be sentries every frame. I think there'll be some tactical frames, some scrappy frames. It'll probably be quite a slow match, I would have thought. But uh, he's playing for the know. right corner here. 
Jim Dot would be delighted with this sort of frame. And that's a, another good positional shot there to go into the black. Lots of check side. And a nice little clearance of 39 there. Gives us the, the frame. And we win this match by one frame to nil. Frame and match. Graham Dot. That's the match in the bag. There we have it. Graham Dot overcomes Stuart Bingham. And I certainly wouldn't uh, you know, put it past him uh, to do that in real life. But if you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. really does help me out. means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for daily Snooker 19 content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.